favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? Thank you. You may be seated. Mark chapter 3, verse 13. Mark chapter 3, verse 13. Jesus went up on a mountain side and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. 14. He appointed the twelve that they might be with him and that they might, he might send them out to preach. 15. And to have authority to drive out demons. Don't mind. Let me just end the... Uh, you can read 13, 14, and 15. We all know the names of the, the disciples. But my main point in this, I want you to understand that when you are caught or believe in Jesus, he will give you authority over your enemies. And who are our enemies? Our enemies are not human beings. It's evil spirit. Evil spirit can use anything. When you become weak, then Satan can, you know, take advantage of your weakness and use you. But our real enemy is the devil and his demons. Jesus went up on a mountainside and called to him those he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed the twelve that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach and have authority to drive demons out. Praise the Lord. People of God, we are in a situation where things are not moving according to what you feel that this is the way. There's no one here on earth who is not complaining. Even rich people, they are complaining. Money is there. But if you go and ask them, they will share with you one or two things. That is the situation. You will see different fleets of cars outside the house. But something is missing. No one can live here on earth peacefully without the presence of Jesus. When you answer his call, he will give you authority over darkness. If you force yourself to be where you want to be in the name of Jesus, without Jesus accepting you and appointed you, you are risking your life. As a church, I am not saying everyone must be called to be an apostle or prophet or pastor. No. In general, I'm talking about believers, including men of God. When you are called, you'll be empowered. You'll be equipped. And I want you to know that people who know you before, they will not understand you. Because you take a different step to what they know. There is what we call traditional way of living here on earth. When you become born again or Jesus called you, you abandon that traditional way of life. You pay attention to the power of God as a compass of your life. 
The director of your future is no longer your mind. It's no longer what you, you used to know or what people you know are doing. For you, you are living a separate life. You are a very sensitive person. There you know that authority and power is at work in me. Tell your neighbor, say, take authority over your enemy. Say it again. Yes. When I say your enemy, I am not saying the people, you know, of this world. It is darkness that are causing all these problems. Darkness can afflict anyone with anger, unforgiveness, confusion. You discover that even in our family, there are people who enjoy confusion. They like people you know to quarrel. But if you take authority as a believer, the first thing that you face is misunderstanding. People will start doubting you to say, ah, ah, does it mean all these years? Tabale pepa? But if you would even our savior went through the same problem. His own family, they thought he is out of his mind. The Pharisees and the teachers of the Lord said, no, he's demon possessed. And this is the time that Jesus was filled with power. He did not appoint these people because they were trained somewhere. No, he was led by the Holy Spirit. In this life, the mind that we trust cannot defeat our enemy. It is only authority from above. Even those who are in leadership today and those who are out of leadership, they must know this. The authority that, you know, authority they are enjoying, that constitution authority is a temporal authority. When you are out of power, the same paper that you used against anyone will turn against you. But the authority I'm talking about, it is permanent. No one can take it away from you as long as it has been given to you. There are people who used to be ministers today. They are in and out of the cells. The same authority they had is now working against them. Even the current government, they should prepare themselves that this paper we call constitution has no friend. It is only Jesus. Let them be the friend of Jesus. And Jesus will give them authority over their enemies. Even those who are anticipating for bad things, after they leave their power, they will be shocked that the Spirit of God will be there to guide them to do the right thing. So bear it in mind, people of God. Listen to this. Let me jump from there. Let me go to uh, 20. Then Jesus entered a house, and again a crowd gathered, so that he and his disciples were not able, I mean, even able to eat. Because of the number of people, they had no time to eat. Because this man was accompanied with a lot of miracles, signs and wonders. So people were after his life. If you meet this man, the hand has come to you. Because Jesus was carrying authority. Can you fight the government as an individual? Because if you don't know, Jesus was like the government is fighting him. And he's fighting what? The government. And yet, he was carrying authority from above. Not for this world. I hope that one is clear. I don't want to be misquoted. Listen to 21. When his family heard about this, they went to take charge of him. For they said, he is out of his what? His these are your mothers, your brothers, the people who knew you from day one. They went to be, I mean, to take over, to be in charge. For them to help him so that he, they start now. Because they were used to the traditional way of life. If it takwaba, if it takwaba, if it, if it takwaba, 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 if it takw
nicho mwene ne mu Christianity seko muri confusion because ngata witil wena lesa lesa tale kutungulula you will not understand anything from authority from above you will be questioning what is this no i have heard a lot of people you know these bloggers where they're saying whoever is using water they are getting power from marine spirit which marine spirit is it not marine spirit we are casting out If you see any church where they have put this, they are, you know, brainwashing people. We are fighting the devil and his demons. Okay, if you become rich today as a pastor, and tomorrow you are called back home, have you achieved anything here on earth without Jesus? Nothing. The power in this name Jesus is to save your life is to save my life is to fight for you but we are living without power we are living without authority what saved jesus it is not because of the number of people that he had the authority and power behind his life people would plan to arrest him and kill him immediately they see jesus they said this is the man see him see him this is the man eba chirapingo kukwipaya Immediately, we come on a bamboo ground that we will know in Muntu Alebe Pavantun. We can tell you this. In some bushle cana, which I am quite a makai women in a new co. We will know Muntu, no man in Stavamu, we are Lebe Pofi. Authorities, anything that happened to Jesus was permitted by his father in heaven. Make no mistake. If you receive this authority, whatever is going to happen to your life, it, it, it is permitted by your Father in heaven. Even those who are watching this program, let me talk to you. If they doubted Jesus, who are you not to be doubted? Who are you not to be accused wrongly? Who are you to say, no, I'm a child of God? Yes, I am a child of God, but the world will never accepted you to be a child of God. It is only the authority that will help you to defeat their intention and their evil purpose in your life. Those who want to end your life prematurely, take authority over their charms. Take authority over their evil power. Take authority over their spells. When they cast a spell, authority will grab the spell and put it under your feet. Because you are a child of God. We are surviving because of this authority. How many people are fighting a small baby? Like us, like me personally as, as a child of God. I call myself a, a small baby. I'm still growing spiritually. We haven't seen anything. But the battle is on. As it was when our Savior was a baby, the Lord was, you know, restless to eliminate a small child because the impact was so much in the spirit. But the baby took authority over the palace of the Lord. He could not do anything. You remember what happened to the wise who came from the east? He called them and said, come. When you see uh, this Please come back and tell me. Me too, I want to go there and worship the baby. In his mind, he said, I want to go and kill him. Look at blind leaders, religious people. They thought God is like, he, you know, their minds. He is beyond what you are thinking against his children. They left him. In their dreams, they were on to say, don't go back to that man. Use this load. He was waiting for them. That's the way God, you know, protects his children. We always take authority over the plans of our enemy. Those who are planning evil things against you, take authority over them. And once you understand that, oh, hmm. Nachila chita enjoy, nachila, nachila paku fuma no mbana umfua, hero na mwe nyolu se, wabu nachila, let me, me too, cry here. I saw people crying, me too. I said, let me cry here, let me cry here. Let me cry. Finish crying, then I go out. Why? Uluse lwa kwa le sata lusa langa wafiari kwa kuli chakolwa. Nga wafiari kwe kunganga. Nga wafiari kwe mumpari. Nga lwa kwe mnyafe lwa kupela nensambu. 
you are a different person. You are a different person. Anywhere where you be found, everything in that place is under you. You control them spiritually. They don't know what they are doing because you are there. So take authority over your life. That is your enemy. Listen to this uh, religious people. The family said he is out of his mind. If you expect your family members to say yes, Mulenga is a servant of God. Mulenga, is... if you go inside the church, ask them one by one. Are you related to Mulenga? Are you related to Mulenga? Are you related? You find not even one. Maybe one or two. Or maybe the children of my brother who is here uh, in Chwempala and his wife. The rest, be, uh, I don't know. I don't know. But when Mulenga, you know, will be on top of the, you know, the roof there. You see him, someone will say, he is my, my nephew. He is my nephew. This one say, he is my sister's son. Why? You are there already. But at the beginning, they will look at you and see you as someone who is not normal. You are supposed to do business. You are supposed to do this. What you are doing, you are going to suffer. No. Take authority over your enemy so that you focus on the future. Take what? Tell your neighbor once again. Even if you know you are guilty somehow, Jesus is the only one who can forgive you. And once you are forgiven and the evidence is overwhelming, that forgiveness will cover everything. The thing will just die a natural death. Listen to the Pharisees now. And the teachers of the law who came down from Jerusalem said, he is possessed by Behozeb. By the prince of demons, he is driving out demons. Can you drive demons using demons? <laughs> Can you drive demons using demons? No. It is authority from above. Fear no one. Greater is he who is in us. Even those who are doubting you, they came to know you in the near future. As at now, they don't know you. That is the only way you can survive. If they knew you before, they could have been eliminated you. But because they don't know you, take authority. Control them spiritually. March on them in the name of Jesus. By the time you are shining and say, oh, let's go and deliver. From where? By which power? You are under my feet. Mm, let me march on you. Uh, march on you. You go and look for another charm. I will come and march on the charm. You go and look for another concussion. Authority in me will grab it and put it under my feet. That is the will of God. So take authority over your enemy. You are not here by your enemies, by the grace of God. You came to this life as a human being, created in the image of God. Anyone can doubt you, but Jesus knows you better than anyone. Thank you. God bless you.